So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to contour and highlight your face. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline sticks. These are, you could pick them up at the drugstore. I decided to go ahead and do a drugstore type of highlighting and contouring because that way everyone is able to do it. So the color that I'm gonna be using is number 60 in deep and it's literally just a pencil and you don't need a sharpener. It goes up and down by twisting the bottom. So the way I'm gonna start is I'm going to go ahead and draw on my face, I guess you could say. And you might wanna use some pressure so you can get a good amount of color. And then I'm gonna go and do my jaw, I'm not my jawline, my cheekbone. The way you do your cheekbone is you go right from the top of your ear down, and then you stop right where your eye is so right in the center of your eye that is where you'd want to stop your contour same thing with this you go right where your ear is the top of your ear go all the way down and then right where your the middle of your eye is that is where you'd want to stop okay and then same with your forehead you just draw you know around your forehead if you have like a really small forehead you might want to skip that step but with me i have a pretty uh, large forehead i guess you could say so i go ahead and contour that and then i also like to contour my jawline because i like it to look a little chiseled i do have a little bit of a double chin action going on so i always love to do this because it just shrinks it up and then i just do little lines like that oh my god that looks scary but it's okay. So that is exactly what I do when I contour. And then I also like to contour around my lips. This just gives it a more plump effect. As you can see, the bottom of my lip looks a little bit more poutier just because I applied that contour shade there. And I'm gonna do the same by applying it on the tops. This just makes your lips look a little bit more bigger and more defined. So if you don't have like that natural, um, you know, lip color that defines your lips, this is really great. I love doing it just cause it makes my lips look nice and um, defined. So that's what I do it for. And then same with your nose. You wanna go right up against the sides of your nose. If you have a very wide nose, um, you can definitely go on your nose and create it really thin. Just follow where your brows start and go down right there. Because I know some people, their brows start out here. You might want to draw them in a little bit. But for your nose contour, you always want to be sure that it goes up at the sides of your brows and then in because it kind of gives that perfect shading and it looks very, very natural. And you want to go up to where your brow is. Let me come close a little bit so you guys could see this. But as you see, like your brow is here, you go right here in the corner of your eye or your nose. And then it gives it that nice little shadow where it looks even thinner than it than usual. You cut off the tip. My tip isn't even that big, but I just do it because of photos. It just makes my nose look really, really defined. And then you go right here and you create another line right there. So then you get a cute little button nose, which is what I like. We're gonna go ahead and connect these right here as well as that. And then we're also gonna connect that to that and then that to that, okay? That way when we are blending everything, it looks more um, blended and it's not like you know contour here here and then it looks patchy you want everything to be blended together and one so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out the brush that I'm gonna use to blend this out is gonna be this elf brush it's like six bucks if you purchase it I use this all the time anytime I use like a cream contour so let's go ahead and start by blending out our cheeks so when you blend your contour, you gotta be really patient because this isn't going to look beautiful just by doing this and that's that's pretty much it. 
So when you do it, you always want to be sure to blend and then go upwards. Never blend and go down. Okay, that is not how you do it because then it'll start to look muddy and your face will start to look like it's um, dragging down and for some reason I don't find that flattering. Um, so this is just how I do it. I always like to blend it upwards and then go in straight motion. So right how you drew it, go back and forth in that motion that you applied and then just go upwards okay and that'll give you that nice little blended effect i don't know if you guys could see that let me okay and you don't have to press really hard on your brush either if you have a really good brush that's really dense right at the tip like this is super soft right at the tip this is going to blend so beautifully so same here when you're blending this blend it upwards i'm going like in a in a i guess you could call a zigzag motion up and down just like this okay and with this part i'm being more aggressive because with my forehead i really don't need that much product anyway it just like blends into my skin so i go ahead and do the zigzag motion into my hairline that way everything is blended so I'm gonna go ahead and do this part. You can also do circular motions, but when you do circle, do it up, and then the bottom circle should end right where your contour um, is. It shouldn't go below that, okay? So when you do it, you can do it like that. Okay? I don't know if you guys could see that. Okay, so there is a line of demarcation, totally fine, because when you put that highlight, we're gonna marry the two together. The reason why I'm doing I'm blending the contour first and then the highlight is because, I don't know, I don't want the contour to dry on my face because I'm talking. So I'm just putting this all the way down. And as you guys can see, that is totally different from my neck and that's totally fine. Um, because once we powder it, everything will look even. And the main thing that we want to focus on is right here. You see that little guy? I mean, you can't really see it, I know, but this is just for like you guys to learn how to do it. Okay? So just go all the way down. And as you guys can see, it doesn't even look that different anymore. The colors. So I blend all of that out. Then I go ahead and do my lip area. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. Uh, I do my lip area and when I blend out my lips, I do it with a like blending brush, like an eyeshadow brush, just because it's a little bit more smaller and I get a little bit more precision and I don't want it to go like a freaking mustache. You know what I'm saying? So just get a pointed blender brush or a fluffy blending brush to smooth out the edges of your lips. And that brush that I used on my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use it to blend out the sides of my nose as well. So if you're always wondering, how do I blend out my nose contour? This is how you do it. You literally go up and down, up and down, up and down. That's literally how you blend your nose contour because if you're like going all the way down, all the way down, that's just gonna make your nose look really wide because there's like a huge shadow there. So you always wanna be sure to keep the, uh, the contour really, really skinny. And then we will highlight this and highlight the center to create an illusion of a thin nose, okay? So just go ahead and blend it. Do it in like, this part I like to do in circular motions because that way it creates the illusion that my eye goes down here and I have a lot of eye space. So, same with this. Sorry, I'm kind of blurry. Let me focus it up a little bit. And then as you guys can see, I'm going in to my eye area. This as well just helps give that nice sculpted look. Okay. It's not necessary to do it, but as you guys can see, it kind of goes with the shape of my eye. And then I go down. 
Same here, go down. And it's totally fine if you lose the brightness right here because we are gonna highlight that and that is what's gonna give us that nice thin nose. But this is just for definition. Okay. So I went ahead and blended it. Let me step back. So I went ahead and blended it. As you guys can see, this is how it looks. Just blending the contour. The one that I'm gonna use for highlighting is the Brightening Creamy Concealer in Light Medium. This is actually what I use for um, highlighting under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys right now how to work this thing. Um, but yeah, it's the same technology, like it goes up, down, just like that, and you just apply it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right under here. It's not very, very in your face highlight, but it does help with a little bit of sculpting and it also just helps give you the definition where you need it, okay? So just do that. I also like to highlight those two little peaks that I have going on. And then over here, you wanna go, the way I like to highlight my forehead area because my forehead honestly is already like has its own thing going on so what i like to do is literally just define my brow areas right there and right there and then i create like a little palm tree i don't go all the way up i think like up to here is cool because when i blend it out it's going to disperse anyway so if you don't want your forehead to look that big or you want to shrink it as much as possible keep the highlight on your forehead as minimal as possible so just make a really short palm tree with not a lot of leaves this is how many leaves i leave but you can do whatever you feel is right for your face shape so i'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose just like that okay and that is what will create that thin nose can you guys see that I actually wiped off my little thing right here and then that is really all I like to highlight I don't really highlight like right here and right here I really like this to look very blended and natural and you know just give me that definition where I need it and then I go ahead and whip out my um, Make a Forever 101 brush or I use an angled brush like this this is super fluffy this is from Sizzle Beauty this is actually like a contour brush but I like to use it to blend out my highlight zones it just works that great <laughs> today i'm gonna go ahead and use my 108 brush from makeup forever this is actually my favorite favorite brush ever i feel like i tell you guys that all the time but i don't know i just never get tired of it <laughs> i love it so the way i blend this is very very gently i just blend it and then i go down into the contour and then i just go in circular motions upwards because again, I don't want to drag anything down, okay? And then same here, I just go in like that type of motion. So I pick it up, when I'm down, I pick it up again and then I go down again. And that just um, blends it without getting rid of where I place the product. And then same here, for this I just do it like that, like side to side. I don't even know if there's like a, the right way to do it. <laughs> But this is just how I do it and it works perfectly for me. And then before I like blend all this out, I always do my under eyes, forehead, and lips first. And when you, when you do under your eyes, always be sure to be gentle because you don't want to stretch that part of your skin. It's very sensitive and delicate. So as you guys can see here, Remember I told you when I go up, it's going to spread and disperse the product. That is exactly what it did. So you don't really see that line, that bronzy uh, helmet look that you saw earlier. Everything is blended together. And then the center part, the reason why I like this flat brush is because it's super narrow right at the tip. It's very, very narrow. So I'm able to contour my nose as well with this, even though it's very wide, it's narrow, and I can literally just do that. And it blends that out perfectly. What I also do is I pat 
I don't like rub, I just pat. And because this product is so creamy, it just melts into my skin. Just pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 pat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend these out. And the way I do that is I just like rub it just like that so there's no line of demarcation. And I'm doing this in circular motions. Anytime you do circular motions, it gives a very nice airbrush finish, especially if you're using a dense brush. So did you guys see how that line just like vanished? All right, so I have a little bit more definition on my nose. Forehead has a little bit of um, shrinkingness going on. And then my double chin is not as pronounced. And we're gonna go over this with powder as well to you know, enhance it even more. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this with the Lorac Tantalizer. So it, I'm using the brush that it came with and I'm just going in perpendicular and then going right on top of my contour and going up, okay? Just like that, and then doing the same on the other side, going just like that, and then up. Okay. And stopping right at the center of my eye. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do my forehead. The way I'm doing it is like, I'm doing it like this with the brush pointed upwards, not like downwards or perpendicular. I'm slanting it upwards and doing this. That way it blends that helmet look and I don't have that helmet look and all the darkness is concentrated towards my hairline. And then same down here, I like to go upwards Because again, that line of demarcation was right here, and this just helps blend it out and marry everything together. As you guys see here, there's like a line. Go in circular motion until it disappears. I'm gonna go in with that same uh, brush that we blended out the contour of the nose and the mouth with the cream. And now we're going into this powder to set it. Grab as much as you'd like. And then um, the way you pick up the product is literally go perpendicular because you want to concentrate the product right at the tip of the brush. Okay, so once you have it right at the tip, let me come a little closer. So once you have it right at the tip, you can go ahead and start applying it. When you apply it, be very gentle. Don't be too aggressive because you don't want this contour line to spread out. You want it to be as defined as possible. Again, be sure not to press really hard because you don't want to spread the product down here, right here. You wanna keep it right up here, as up there as possible. And then I'm doing the same thing here. Over here it's okay to go down a little because then it just gives you that eye space, that nice wide eye look. So do you see how much more defined my nose is? And if you wanna blend the sides, no problem. Just get that brush and just pat. Cause we have a little bit of that cream light shade on here, so just pat. I use my RCMA powder and I apply this all over. I don't go with a separate powder to uh, pat under my eyes because I don't want under my eyes to be very cakey. I want it to be as light as possible because I don't want any creasing of product. So I love using this. This is super, super light and it works beautifully. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. I'm gonna dump a little out on my metal little I don't even know what these things are called, but it's like a little palette. It's like a little metal palette. So if you're a makeup artist, I'm pretty sure you have one. Um, so the, the bleh, I can't talk. The brush that I'm gonna be using to set this, you can use a brush like this. This is that angled brush that I told you that I like to uh, use to blend the cream contour. I also like to use it to add translucent powder because it's very, very loose. It's not very dense. 
so I don't have to worry about it like packing the product on because I don't want it to pack it on. I want it to kind of set it but still be a light application. So it's not super dense. It's still, it's very, um, it has a lot of movement right at the tip. As you guys can see, I was, I, this one is very um, dense it looks like, but then at the same time, the top is like very, has some movement going on. You don't want it to be a super stiff brush. Like if it's super, super stiff, you want it to have some movement when you touch it, you want it to have some movement. Another great example is this one right here. This is from e.l.f. At the same time, the top is like very um, soft and it also has some movement going on. All right, if you want your um, powder to be very, very light, you wanna use a fluffier brush. And as you guys can see, this, is, this has a lot more movement and this um, is really great if you want a very light application. So it's very, very light um, application and it's not as dense. It's very, there's a lot of movement in the brush. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but I'm trying to make this video as helpful as possible. The brush that I'm gonna go ahead and use is that sizzle brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up product. There's no like secret on how to pick up product or whatever, but you wanna be sure when you pick it up, it's right at the tip, like that. And then you just tap the excess off, okay? And then you just apply it like so. And then I wanna show you guys, this is not cakey at all. I'm rubbing it in and that's totally fine. Apply it. Just like that. If you guys like my eye makeup, I definitely have a tutorial for it and you guys can check that out if you guys wanna learn how to do that look. Okay, and when I'm doing this, I'm going all over my face. Like, it doesn't matter that I'm going over my contour. It's totally fine. I forgot to tap off the excess. Oops. So if you don't tap the excess off, that's how it looks like. It's totally fine, but then you need to go in a lot more. And that may kind of disrupt the placement of your contour. So that's why it's always best to tap off excess. That way you don't have to be so aggressive when you're um, rubbing your powder in. So as you guys can see, look how natural that looks. Like you could barely see that, but it's like still there. I'm gonna go on my forehead. This part is just to like get everything to look natural. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my neck. Let's not forget that. All right, so I'm gonna have to go a little heavier on my contour. It's always better to go light on your contour and then add it at the end rather than going really heavy and then like lightening it, lightening it up because when you go too heavy and you wanna lighten it up, you have to apply a little bit of your foundation over it to tone down the color and you always want to not apply so much on your skin so it looks as natural as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more. I'm gonna go into that tantalizer right here. I'm gonna go in with that sizzle uh, brush because I don't think I need it anymore. I'm just gonna apply it right there. Do the same on this side. Same up here. So I'm literally just going over those contour zones again, just for a little added chiselness. This is great for um, photo shoot makeup. So if you are doing a photo shoot or you know it's your big day and you want to look perfect for pictures, this is a great way to make your photos worth the money, if you know what I mean, because you know they're really pricey. Um, so this is literally contouring and highlighting and setting it. I have not added any blush. I've not added any type of, um, you know, powder highlight for that shimmer, um, or my lips aren't even done. So yeah, this is literally highlighting, contouring, and setting it. So 
yeah, that is pretty much it. I really hope you guys learned if you learned um, how to contour and highlight. Um, as far as like prepping the skin, I know that I didn't show that on here, but if you want to prep your skin, definitely use uh, some oil as a base because that way when you do powder or something, your skin doesn't look like really dry and cracky. Like my skin right now looks very hydrated and that is how you want your skin to look. Let's see if you guys could like see this. So you want your skin to look nice and smooth. The way you do that is literally by applying an oil as a base or a moisturizer. You can apply your eye cream under your eyes for that added hydration. And then if you still, like this is like if you have super dry skin, obviously. If you are um, combination, then just apply the oil in areas that you feel like is needed because later on in the day, you don't want to be super, super oily. So um, if you do get super oily, then you can use a mattifying um, setting spray to control the shine or you can just take your little compact and powder throughout the day if you want as well um, but I also use this all-nighter setting spray after I set everything to set my makeup because you know I want my makeup to last all day but then again who doesn't yeah that is my highlighting and contouring video I really hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you guys liked this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel stay tuned for more educational videos and i'll see you guys next time bye